Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Arrange Your Own. This is Hannah and today we have some wonderful flowers for you. We're going to do something that's a little more natural and follow the big bridal trend that's happening right now. So first of all we have some jade roses which are really green and lush and they'll be fabulous with everything we have. Next we have some birchwood which is really tall and I'm excited to use it so we can have height and really great texture in our arrangements today. We also have scabiosa pods. A couple of you might have received scabiosa a few weeks ago in an exotic collection we had. Then we have bunny tails, which is a fun grass that you'll see it's really soft, just like a bunny. Then we have a beautiful dahlia, and I'll tell you a few fun things about this later. Of course, some aspidistra, just to add some greenery. And so wow, this will be fun to go with our birch. So to start out, we're going to use our taller vase. And we'll start with our birch wood because it's a lot more structural. And you'll see, it's going to be a pretty tall arrangement, so think about where you're going to put it first. I'm just going to cut the edges and place it within the base. I want to make this one all around, so while you're putting in the birch wood, turn the vase. It'll help you keep a really good shape. And then you won't run into problems when you add your other greenery. This birch is also going to dry really well, so after you're done with your arrangement, if you want to keep it and let it dry out, it can be a great dried arrangement in a corner of your house or something. It has a nice dark coloring, so it'll be wonderful. I'm just going to turn my vase so that I get dimension on all sides. And then our last piece, there. Now we're going to make it look a little bit more alive and add some greenery. So we have lots of salal or lemon leaf and I want to stick it in between the branches to add some fullness and make it look a little bit alive for you. Once again, just keep turning. It'll help you keep a really nice shape. This is a really woodsy and outdoorsy arrangement. It'll remind you of hiking outside even if you can't get out in the woods. And then you'll notice it gets a little bit sparse up here. So I want to add some salal in the middle too, in between the branches. Perfect. And then I want to add a few of my jade roses. Now even though they're green just like the slough, it's a really different color, so it's going to add a really nice pop. And I left the leaves at the top to make it fit in with the woodsy arrangement we have going on. Just put a couple around. You can even group them, like I might put two together, give it a nice look. And then we're going to use one of our aspidistra. Another trick that we haven't really used yet, instead of using a stapler, you can take the end of your aspidistra leaf and poke it through the middle of the leaf and pull. 
and it makes a different shape than we usually use. It's gonna highlight our roses, just for fun. And then I'm gonna put one over here with the other two roses too. It's really simple. Then you don't have to go out and buy staples or if you run out, you don't have to worry about it. Perfect, nice and woodsy. Then we're gonna move on to a little ball jar. And the flowers we have for this are great because they're nice and, I don't know, textural. You can hear the little tissue paper sound of the scabiosa. So we're gonna group these together, the scabiosa together. And this look is really popular and bridal right now. Women want really natural looks. So we'll use this dahlia, which is a beautiful aster. So your dahlia might be really difficult to grow up here in North America because it's got a tuberous root that if it freezes, you don't want to know what happens. It's not going to come back. So it's great that we have this in our collection because you might not be able to grow it very well. And along with this dahlia, it has some nice buds that are really cute. And they'll go along with our organic feel. And then, of course, the bunny tails. They're gonna go in the background. And I left some of the little grassy ends, too, before the inflorescence, which is beautiful. Stick them in the back. And then you have two wonderful outdoorsy and natural arrangements. I hope you guys enjoyed this week and we'll, we can't wait to see you next week. Thanks.